Yeah. Burnout is no fun, guys. Ironic that I'm talking about burnout with the Sun God deck. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Team Forbidden's YouTube page. It is I, Seto Summit Fanatic, back at you with a... A Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile I should have done like a year ago. I'm sorry it took this long. Like I said in the intro, burnout is no fun. I've been having a big falling out with the game and just keep getting my life together in a whole bunch of stuff. Um, if you guys want to see or hear anything about what's going on in my life right now, uh, we'll have Andrew post uh, my channel in the description, leave a comment, and maybe I'll do like a vlog or something like that for you guys. Um, but there's going to be a lot of things changing coming up, but let's not talk about that right now. Let's talk about the return of Raw. Uh, Yes! God, I'm, I'm quite literally, God, I have missed this deck so much. And it's got a lot of new stuff that helps it out. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into, well, what sparks the nuclear fusion that makes the sun god burn? So let's get into it. First things first, we've got, of course, the three winged dragon of raw sphere modes. We are starting off with the sphere mode because in the anime and the original manga, when Ra comes out and it's tribute summoned from the hand, it comes out in this, and you have to speak the ancient text in order for Ra to even obey you. So, sphere mode. This thing has been a board breaker for ages. Your opponent puts three monsters out on the board. They set up a whole board of bomb negates. It's like, all right, cool. Tribute all three of them. Here, do you know how to speak? You get it, speak ancient Egyptian? No. Okay. Cool. Do you have an Almirage? No. Okay. You're stuck here, son. You ain't got nothing. Quite so, literally, the only deck that can main deck this thing. Yeah, pretty much. You kind of have to main deck it. So uh, next up, we're running only two copies of the Winged Dragon of Raw. I see a lot of deck profiles running three copies of this card. I do not think that is correct in any way, shape, or scenario because this card can be super, super bricky. And you've got Ancient Chant to search it out and get it back from the graveyard. Uh, next up, only one copy of the Winged Dragon of Ra, Immortal Phoenix. Self-explanatory, we have a whole bunch of other stuff. So if this thing goes to the graveyard from the field, this thing's in your graveyard, this comes out. Nothing else needs to be said. You only run one of it because it keeps occurring itself, and it is a super brick. Uh, three copies of Guardian Slime. <coughs> Same thing as last time. You summon this from your hand when you take damage, and hopefully it'll block another attack. You then send it to the graveyard the next turn in order to get your God Slime out and search for a copy of Winged Dragon of Raw. This also works with another new card that we put in the deck that we will get into in a few moments. Um, the Horus Engine just came out, and I'm working on a build that will use the Horus cards, but for now, I'm going full-on Merrick with the slime theme, because this is better than Raw's Disciple. I'm sorry, it is. If, and I'm running the Metal Reflex slimes as well, so you kind of have to have this card. Uh, for hand traps, <coughs> three Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Also, probably the only deck that can main tech these. <laughs> for those wondering, it's like, well, why? What does the life points do to you? Point to point transfer, baby. It's on the normal summon. Let's go. And that's it for the main deck monsters. Into the spell cards. The second big card. I've literally got six copies of this card for this deck and Time Lords. And then I found out I don't have enough staples for Time Lords. So hopefully I can do one of that before, you know, a certain somebody leaves the state. Uh, so three. Tokusano Shinkyojin. What is this card? It's basically level 10 traded. So you tribute, or rather, uh, send monsters from your hand and or face-up field to the graveyard whose total levels equal 10. Exactly. Draw two. So... 
This thing, send it. Draw two. Search for a card that mentions Winged Dragon of Raw specifically. This thing, don't want you in my hand. Send it. Draw two. Sphere Mode's not doing you any good. Send it. Draw two. Literally, basically works with everything in here. If you have uh, Guardian Slime, or uh, excuse me, the Metal Reflex Slime, and you don't want to do anything, send it. Draw two. Oh, yeah. Winged Dragon of Raw's on the field. Okay, cool. Send it. Draw two. Special summon this boy from the graveyard. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, this thing is so freaking good for this deck. And the other, well, okay, so when, next up we have three copies of the Soul Crossing. Because sometimes you just gotta pull that Seto Kaiba strat and tribute your opponent's monsters during their turn, summon a god card during their turn to your field, and, you know, do stuff. Three copies of this card. The true sun god. Because I can kill your. Also, something that really helps this deck out. So it basically gives the deck a vengeful bog spirit, making it so that um, uh, any monster that gets special summoned, except for the Winged Dragon of Raw, cannot attack the turn that it is special summoned. But on play, you search any card that mentions Winged Dragon of Raw in its text, or the Winged Dragon of Raw itself to your hand. So, this thing, search God Slime, uh, the Guardian Slime, uh, search Sphere Mode. Yes, Sphere Mode is search now. Do you realize how nuts that is? <laughs> um, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with this because this doesn't mention Winged Dragon of Raw, but it does work with Ancient Chant, which searches Winged Dragon of Raw from your deck or your graveyard. So, oh yeah, and uh, this thing can send either itself or uh, Immortal Phoenix from your deck to the grave. This from the field or Immortal Phoenix from deck. Target a Winged Dragon of Raw. Send it. And then Phoenix Mode will trigger from the graveyard. <laughs> so, Ancient Chant, search Raw from your deck or graveyard, and then you can banish it from the graveyard in order to give Raw the effect that it should have had from the beginning, which was it gains the monster, the attack of the monsters that got tributed. Uh, one Blaze Cannon, because it's Blaze Cannon. One Millennium Revelation. I'm thinking of buffing this card up to two. I probably should, but I'm not entirely sure what to take out for it. Uh, one monster reborn because you can't run this without this. It's, it's just too good. One cop of the grave because we hate hand traps and uh, two copies of foolish burial goods. I want to find more room for additional copies of this as well uh, because there is one main combo with this card. It's the main combo into the traps. We have ice barrier. One copy of ice barrier. This. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I don't see a lot more people running this combo. Because this combo is just so good. Yeah, it locks you into water monsters, but you're either going to be sitting on a guardian slime or you're it's just going to go right into god slime because it's a water monster. And then you get your search and you just go from there. Oh, I can't summon my god card? That's fine. I'll just sit on god slime. <laughs> just sit on god slime and just let it just muck around for a little bit. But hey, Foolish Barrel Goods, send the Guardian Slime, get it into your hand, and then automatically just special summon it. Uh, two copies of Metal Reflex Slime, because, you know, we have the package. Uh, we have the package with the Reactor Slime. Reactor Slime can tribute itself during the battle phase and set this thing for free, and then do it during the same turn. Uh, and then for the 40th card, we've got Sun God Unification. I see a lot of versions of the deck not running this card either. I have no idea what they're smoking. This thing is so good. This this thing basically gives this the uh, the effect when it's summoned from graveyard. Alright. Into the extra deck. The extra deck is just God Slime and a bunch of rank 10s and one Link Monster. So, three Egyptian God Slime. This thing is getting reprinted soon, hopefully. Uh, so it'll be a lot more accessible for some of you people. Really good card. So fantastic always to see anime cards that 
never came out back in the day for some reason. Uh, three copies of Gustav Max, three copies of Leve, the Spider Package, uh, Space Palace, King Garrity, and Zeus. You should probably try and find room for that new rank 12 guy. Typhoon. Typhoon, yeah, whatever he is. But I, I don't have him. Uh, and the last the monster that rounds out your deck is sometimes you have to normal summon the Winged Dragon of Ra and uh, not use the uh, the light points effect. So you run one Al Mirage because if this thing is summoned and you don't pay the life points until you have 100 left, it's going to be a normal summon monster with less than 1,000 attacks. So you can just link this off and then, oh, what's that? Oh, my raw multiplied. It turned into a Mecha Bunny and a Flaming Bird. <laughs> so <laughs> into the side deck because I actually was able to figure out a side deck for this. Uh, three Gamma Seals. I'm still working on a pure kaiju deck to see if it can still work. It probably can, I just need to figure out the ratios, but Gamma Seal, well, turns out Gamma Seal is also something that you could just add to your hand. So Ice Spirit, oh, your opponent is a kaiju? Okay, do you have a negate? No, okay. Send Ice Barrier to Grave. Alright, cool. Banish. Get Gamma Seal. Tribute your monster. Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, so three Gamma Seal. He is friend of all children and I will always be child at heart, so he should always work, except when he doesn't. Uh, three copies of Ghost Bell, because, you know, we want our stuff in the graveyard, and we want our stuff to, you know, stay in the graveyard. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, two copies of Twin Twisters, uh, three copies of Paleozoic Dynamiscus, and a um, uh, super, super um, strat if you're going... Uh, First or second, uh, you bring Sphere Mode out with this, and if they don't have the regular Wing Dragon of Raw, um, they're locked until Sphere Mode goes back to you. And then when Sphere Mode comes to your side, I believe you get to pick if you got like, uh, so say you've tributed Sphere Mode on their side, Eric. If you have, uh, if I have God Slam and Sphere Modes on their side, and it comes to my field, if it goes and matches out, I get to choose which of these two I get to keep. Correct. Uh, no, you keep whatever was there, was there first. before. Okay, never mind. So, um, uh, yeah, this is just to lock your opponent out. Don't summon anything else, because otherwise your mode is just going to go to the graveyard, and you're going to get screwed. <laughs> or, I should say, you're going to get burned! Cut that out. That was terrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. Be that way. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's the Winged Dragon of Raw deck. Um, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell down below for notifications. Stay alive, and we'll keep you, we'll keep you guys updated and catch you guys later.